Welcome to the first question, answer, and explanation session of the Florida Professional Surveyor and Mapper Jurisdictional Exam. I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman, a licensed Florida surveyor and licensed Florida attorney, and I'd like to welcome you to the first video in the series of PSM review questions. Question number one states, a blank declared by the governor or the department is any unusual incident resulting from a hurricane, storm, or other violent coastal disturbance that has resulted in erosion, beach, or coastal damage, sudden and unpredictable hazards to navigation, damage to upland structures, or any other unusual incident from natural or unnatural causes that endangers the coastal system or health, safety, welfare, or resources of the citizens of the state. Whew, that's a long one. But what we take away from this is that something is going on here. And the something going on is some kind of big coastal storm. And when you think of coastal events, you should think of 62B33, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We know it's something to do with the coast. We know it has something to do with the department, as we know the Department of Environmental Protection. So let's look at our answer choices and see if we can narrow it down. Our four answer choices include coastal emergency, shoreline emergency, riparian emergency, and coastline emergency. Unfortunately, we are going to have to go directly to the statute and find this definition because none of these four uh, terms give us any idea what could be a right answer or a wrong answer, which is a tough question. As I mentioned earlier, when you think of coastal problems, coastal issues, go to 62B33. It's in there somewhere. And in fact, 62B33.014 is our emergency procedures section. And that emergency procedures should have caught your eye. Now let's read our shoreline emergency definition and see if it fits in. So it says, a shoreline emergency declared by the governor or the department is any unusual incident resulting from a hurricane storm or other violent coastal disturbance, et cetera, et cetera. We found it. Awesome. And that's all you have to do. For the Florida jurisdictional exam, they are going to give you questions directly out of the statutes. And you are going to have to be smart enough and quick enough to say, all right, this question is talking about coastal problems. I know that out of my eight or 10 statutes, the only one that focuses on major coastal problems is 62B33. That gets you in the general location. Then it's up to you to read that statute as quickly as possible and find the correct definition. So this is kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. But if you know what statute to go to generally, you can find the answer much, much more quickly. Since we know it says shoreline emergency in the definition, we will select answer B and hit it. Would you like to be fully prepared for the Florida jurisdictional exam? Check out my website, cnettleman.net slash FLPSM for online review courses, hard copy full length practice exams, and everything else you need to pass this exam cnettleman.net slash FLPSM.